Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. Hannah's got our weather-wise question for us, and I'm hoping for a redemption round. We both got it wrong yesterday. Yeah. Well, today's question is about thinking back. Today's the last day of June, so we're going to see how hot this June was. How many days above 90 did we have during the month of June? I'll let you and I'll get both of you think about it and work. Oh, wait, I have to give you the options. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, Actually, not are we again. just going to have to blindly guess here? <laughs> you guys are going to have to blindly guess someday, but not today. A, is it A, three days? Is it B, seven days? Is it C, nine days? Or is it D, 13 days? I'll let you guys think about that. And we're going to look at today's biking forecast. It's going to be a great day for biking. Temperatures in the 70s, all of that sunshine. Wind's not too bad either. It's actually going to be a pretty perfect end to the month of June. Your first alert has all green boxes highlighted on it. We're not expecting any impacts for today. And it looks like it's taken a few minutes for a Mana Colony City Cam to load, but that's okay. Temperatures are in the 50s. There you go. We've got the sun high in the sky over the Amanda colonies nice and sunny 57 right now in Cedar Rapids 59 in Iowa City and 59 in the Amana colonies with dew points in the low 50s now we've got clear skies everywhere in eastern Iowa not just in the Amana colonies that's gonna last pretty much for the entire day we have sunshine through the morning sunshine through the afternoon and one of the reasons why temperatures are gonna be pretty nice today and dew points is because of winds coming out of the Northeast bringing cooler drier air into the area headed into our overnight hours pretty quiet. That means Monday morning we'll wake up to some sunshine. Highs today rising into the low to mid 70s. 73 in Fayette, 73 in Prairie du Chien, 77 in Waterloo, and 76 in Tama. We're going to be in the mid 70s in Cedar Rapids, upper to mid 70s in our south zone. So overnight tonight we're going to cool into the 50s, pretty similar to what we had last night actually. 58 in Oskaloosa, 52 in Maquoketa, and 53 in Decorah with that mostly clear sky and winds out of the east 5 to 15. So dew points are going to be nice today in the 50s. They're going to be nice on Monday in the low 50s. That's going to change though as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s. So the higher dew points also going to help to fuel some chances for showers and storms. Monday looks good. But Monday night, that's when we start to see some showers and storms begin. That'll continue into Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon and evening, another round of showers and storms is expected. And the round Tuesday afternoon and evening, that could bring in some strong to severe storms. Then a break on Wednesday before, unfortunately for the 4th of July, it looks a little bit wet with some scattered showers and storms possible on Thursday, potentially lingering into the day on Friday. Let's go into some more details with that Tuesday system. Again, we do have the chance for some strong to severe storms over a good chunk of eastern Iowa. Hazards such as damaging winds, large hail, and tornadoes all possible with this system on Tuesday. Our long-term temperature outlook, July 7th through July 13th, warmer than normal conditions expected across the Hawkeye State. And in our nine-day forecast, we have temperatures staying in the 70s on Monday, partly cloudy for the first day of July with overnight temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Then things really heat up on Tuesday, 87 degrees, with that chance for some strong to severe storms. 87 degrees and partly cloudy on Wednesday. Then we head off to Independence Day where we have some showers and storms possible temperatures in the mid 80s with overnight temperatures in the 50s, 60s and 70s. Now to the weather wise question. How many days do you think we had in above 90 or 90 or above? I think it was seven. I think we were pretty hot in June. I think I think it was hot, but I think that the real temperatures. I think there was only three days. Emily wins again. Oh. It is seven. We had seven days in the month of June with temperatures 90 or above. Now, typical average temperatures in uh, June and July are usually in the low to mid 80s. So that is above normal for in general. But, you know, we, in Iowa, we get highs in the 90s in the summer. It's kind of something we deal with. But that's why days like today are so wonderful. Highs in the mid 70s. Got to take advantage. Yes. All right. Thanks, Hannah.